Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. I'm Mina. I'm very happy you guys are here. Um, the last video we posted, Spirit of Tree Cloud, <laughs> um, I made a lot of mistakes. And I don't really like to make mistakes, so when I do, then it just kind of makes me want to do it again and do it correctly. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing tonight. That same layering with only four colors, and actually this time using the right amount of paint, the right size canvas, <laughs> and uh, hopefully figuring this one out. So that's what we're going to do tonight, recreating that spirit of tree cloud, except without all the mistakes. So. This is a 24 by 24 inch canvas this time, not the 20 by 20. <laughs> Zen just did a drive by. Hey Zen, you want to come say hi? Hang on. Hey, hi everybody. He's off to go prowling for the little while. <laughs> Until dinner time. He might be a baby. A little boy? Okay, I'll have fun. <laughs> He's so funny. He likes to sleep during the day when it's hot and then he goes out around seven o'clock. So, okay, colors. This is a very striking palette. It's not a very sedate, moderate, mild, it's bold. So the first one, <laughs> Golden's Quadacridone Burnt Orange. Everything is mixed with mix tonight, mix pour. You can message Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com to get your mix. This is quinacridone burnt orange. Paint is fairly thick, leaving a mound on a mound before it melts into itself. Okay. The next one we are using is Amsterdam Blue Violet. And it has a little bit of the leftover paint actually from, oh gosh, what was that other one called? <laughs> the purple one with the, the turquoise. Just flew right out of my head. Anyway, leftover from a previous pour, it has a little bit of the, where is it, this one, Folk Art Treasure Gold in there as well. So I had some leftovers and then I added some more blue violet to it. So not very, very concentrated, but with the antique copper, but a little bit of sparkle and shimmer in there, nice and thick, leaving a mound on a mound, melting into itself. Okay, and then we have Decor Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. My favorites. Lovely. Creamy and thick. Dries so beautifully with mix. It was like just glowing almost. It was insane. Okay, and then I have some white, which is Amsterdam Titanium White, mixed with a little bit of the Deco Art Satin Enamel in pure white. So we're just using these four colors today. Not getting crazy with it, not getting fancy with it. This is a 32 ounce cup. <laughs> so where would 21 ounces be? Can I see it? Yes. Told you so. Oh. <laughs> mean. How's that mean? So where would 21 ounces be, Mr. Genius? Uh, probably right about there. About there. Okay, I'll give you that. Here, I'm gonna steal your marker. I'll put a mark on there so I have some idea. Right You're going to blow right past it anyways. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, a little faith. They have more faith in me. Don't you guys? I have ultimate faith in you, my love. <laughs> HOA and I are just playing. You guys know that. All right, so we're going to shoot for that line. 24, 21 ounces of paint for a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start with the burnt orange. And I'm going to put a little bit of gold in there. Okay, actually, no. I'm going to sandwich my white between layers of gold. That was it. Okay, so I'm going to put some gold in first. Then I'm going to put a little bit of white in there. Then I'm going to put another layer of gold on there. And now I'm going to come in with the purple. Yeah, so that was the magic order. To sandwich the white between two layers of gold. So there's the purple again thin layer of gold because we don't want it to take over, a layer of white, and another thin layer of gold, and now we're using the burnt orange again, thin layer of gold, medium layer of white, 
See what I mean? Yeah. I don't care about two ounces of extra pain. It's fine with me. I'm gonna put more in there right now anyway. <laughs> well, there's a pattern. Okay, I'm gonna start with the blue violet on this side. Now this side, I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna do white, gold, white. A little bit of white. A little bit of gold. A little white. Now I'll do bird orange. And then the same thing again, white, gold, white. HOA is right, but forgot momentarily because I got caught up in the moment that this is a 32 ounce cup. So we could just not use all of it. We could just pour half of it on another canvas, which I do have one over there, so I can do that. Which I might do that. by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. I have to tape the back and put the push pins in. Okay. So we're gonna just pour a little puddle of gold in the center and we're gonna do a beautiful ring pour. I think I had way too much last time. This is starting to feel like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Too little, too much, too little, too much. Okay. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesome? Yes, my love. Semper Paretus. Here we go. We're gonna do a ring pour. have some paint left in there. To be honest with you, I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I'd actually I'm gonna just pour the rest of it in there. Okay, so that's 
very pretty. So knowing that there is 32 ounces of paint on here where I only need 21, I'm not going to do a lot of intricate stuff around the edges because that's going to get tipped off. What is going to stay is probably the center section. So knowing that this is really pretty in there and these lines are beautiful. I watched Jeremy Massey do one today and he didn't do like this organized loops. He just kind of went kind of crazy around it. So I think that's what we're going to try today is just sort of be a little bit more free and not as many. Okay, here we go. Are you ready, HOA? Yes, ma'am. beautiful thing out. Go down, take this down to the center a little bit. Go down off of this edge on the bottom. And kind of line it up along the side and then push it over. think is this part annoying that it's not going over the edge it's, no. kind, of, it's kind of annoying me <laughs> should I try to get that to the edge um, or is it not annoying to anybody else <laughs> it's certainly not annoying to me I and mean, if you want to no it's bothering me a lot it's a bit of color variation that you might enjoy though but you do have that in the corner closest to me. You do have it down here as well. Huh? So do you have that same color variation down here in this other corner? No, I think it needs to come off just a little. We're just going to take this to have it go over the edge. Find the way to the paint. Line it up behind what you want to take off. And let gravity help you.
for me when it goes over. It's there, I think. Plus it opens all these up. Okay, that's awesome. I'm happy with that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm very happy with this. I love the center. I like all the colors in here. I love that quinacridone burnt orange. I love it next to the gold. I love it over there next to the white. I love that permanent blue violet. It's just amazing and it's gonna dry so nice and dark and I love that it's in between all of these burnt orange and white lines. So that was pretty cool how we did the layering. But this was awesome. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. And I will see you on Sunday for the first of our planetary series. Lee and Jeremy Massey and I are doing a planetary series. And the first episodes are going to be on Sunday. So I'll see you guys when this is dry. We'll be right back. So happy with how this turned out. These colors, that quinacridone burnt orange, it's just so pretty. Especially with the gold and with the white in there. Just beautiful. With those loop to loop wrecks. I hope you guys can see this is full sun, so I can't really see very well. Look at that corner. Oh gosh. I love this. Center is beautiful. There's that last bit that I was like, I have to take that piece off. <laughs> These lines though. This is mix. I mean, as amazing as these Golden's paints are, this medium, that mix pour, just such beautiful transparency. And the depth of the color, I love it. And when your paint's thicker, it keeps the shape of the rings better, which is, you know, kind of awesome. So pretty. I love this. This might be my favorite thing I've ever painted. <laughs> Just gorgeous. Ah, love it. So this is Obsession, aptly named, <laughs> because I, just, I love this. Where's that one little cell? So this part is gorgeous. I hope you guys can see those cells. And then right here, there's one itty bitty tiny one. <laughs> so cute. Anyways, so this is Obsession. 24 by 24 split cup pour. Ooh, please don't fall off again. <laughs> Sorry, gales are blowing. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Thanks for being here, guys. Wow. I don't want the painting to fly off the easel. I will see you on Sunday for our planetary series with the Massey boys. Thanks so much for being here with me. I'll see you real soon. Have a beautiful day.